Hello, my crafty friends. This is Teresa with Fresh and Renewed with Teresa. And I am here on the Not Too Shabby channel and the Fresh and Renewed channel. Um, this video will be on both channels. And I am here today for part two of my series, or well, not series, but my cards that I started, that I showed last week. Um, I'm here for part two. And because I couldn't finish up those cards, I was at my daughter's house and didn't, and it was just a hot mess, <laughs> the, the, the things I didn't have. So, um, I am here to show you my cards. I have kind of finished most of them up, but I want to do, I want to color up one of the gnomes with you. And then I'm going to show you how I stamp the sentiment. And then, um, I'll show you all the cards. So, what I'm going to be using today, and I'll go to some music while I am coloring. I am going to, I, um, if you're familiar with my channel, I say this all the time. I have to give my, all of my coloring mediums some love. I have Copics. I have Ohuhu markers. I keep those in the living room and I color on the couch in the evenings with those. I have zigs, I have colored pencils. I don't use those very often because those are very time consuming to me, but I use them occasionally. And I also have that I hardly ever, ever use. I have chameleon markers. So um, I am going to color these, use these today to color up my gnome. And the way you use these markers in fact, uh, let me let me do one um, the way you really use it. So I am going to color the the um, tops of the carrots. Now, um, if you don't know anything about these markers, you take the tip that has the color on it and you stick it down in here and 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 stick it to this to this this part um and it kind of lightens up your marker and then as you color it gets darker Okay, however, I'm not gonna use, use them that way today. I am just gonna color with the tips of the markers. Um, just, just for something different. Okay, so color up my, and I'll leave the caps there. Oh, and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more for you. And I'll leave the caps there for you to be able to see them. If I can figure out where to put it. <laughs> okay. So. And, and, I'll, and I'll tell you the reason I don't use these very often. I thought I would absolutely love them. And I don't. I, they're, because they're so, they're real long. They're real hard to hold, and I just don't enjoy them. And I've tried to sell them once and didn't get any bites on it. So they're still in my, my possession. Okay, there's my carrot. Then I am going to use this purple to color the hat.
her all cut out. Um, very simple. And now I am going to take my black zig marker and kind of go around so my lines are, are, you know, so my lines are, don't, you don't kind of see the white edges. And um, I always do it from the back because sometimes I miss and then get it on my image if you do it from the front. And ask me how I know that. See, I did it right there. And if I'd have been doing it from the front, it would have been right there on the front of the image. All right. So there she is. And the other thing I want to show you is how I stamp the sentiment. So um, I am using to stamp the sentiment because I'm stamping the sentiment on top of this um, ink blended piece. I am using Versa Clair, Versafine Clair Nocturne ink. It's a very, very dark ink and very crisp. And I am stamping it right on top. Oops, let's get that off just in case. Oh, oh, okay. And then just rubbing it. And I think, I think you can see it very well. I know you'll be able to see it, you know, in person. You can see it very well in person. All right. wipe the ink off my fingers so I don't get ink anywhere. Everywhere, I mean. All right, so I am going to use some liquid glue, I think. And glue my little gnome girl straight down to the the card okay and i am going to put her a little high up so you can still see the the um ink blended eggs all right there is that card and my for my finishing touch on this card i'm going to put some sequins so if i still well i haven't really looked but i still haven't found my my jewel picker so my jewel picker today is my fingers and that hopefully that's going to work So that is card number one, and the rest of them, I will probably color up some more gnomes. I don't know, I think they're fine just like this. Um, I finished off the inside of all of them, but um, I have six cards using this sheet load of cards from this month, and um, So I will, I'll probably color up five more gnomes and put on here 
and put the sequins on the rest of them and but they'll all look look just like this one so I'm not going to finish all of them off camera on camera so thank you so much for watching and uh, liking and subscribing to Jamie's channel. Very exciting. She has reached 10,000 subscribers and she'll have a, a hop, a video hop really soon with lots of fabulous sponsors. And um, anyhow, there are still some boxes of the month left for February, um, but only, only a handful. So you might want to jump on over um, I'll leave the link down below. Jump on over and grab your box so you can make some adorable Easter cards. Um, these make this sheet load with these with this collection fabulous, fabulous. Makes great quick cards. You need to make Easter cards, and you know that I donate to nursing homes and Easter Easter is a holiday month, so I bring in that third nursing home. So, um, 210 cards for the month. But I have a friend that helps me do that, so um, we split it up. And So, um, so anyhow, um, I hope you enjoyed the cards, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye!